Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have a pretty outstanding unit to present to you. It's a Hangster certified uh, piece of inventory. Uh, I bought this particular car and uh, it's just fantastic. I'm really uh, proud to have this as a piece of our inventory. So without further ado, let's check it out. You're looking underneath the hood of a 1967 Buick GS 400 convertible. Uh, 400 motor, I believe it is the original motor, but uh, cannot prove that. The, uh, there's no partial VIN on, on the motor is what I'm getting at. Uh, the car does not have power brakes. Uh, it does have power steering, and it does have that big huge contraption next to the alternator. That is your AC compressor. The car does have AC. Triple black. Black car, black gut, black convertible top, and it's a three pedal car. It's a four speed. The car, uh, the, the car's fantastic. Let's look first at the paint, okay? So I love black, I love black cars. I drive a black vehicle, it's my daily driver, even though I live in Florida and the sun cooks me. Um, the uh, black shows imperfections like no other, and I don't know if you can pick up in this, uh, video shoot how nice that black paint is, but it's really fantastic. I mean, um, there's no like small little scratches or anything like that. It's it's really shines fantastic. Let's take a look at the Buick emblem in the front of the hood. The grill, GS in the grill, the silver, the gray portions of the grill, all real nice. Front bumper chrome's fantastic. Headlight clarity's good. How about the driver's side of the car? Red line tires. Fen uh, the uh, wheel openings, the moldings around the wheel openings are real, real nice. Paint on the front fender is fantastic. You do have a uh, pinstripe here, red, that runs the entire length of the car. It's Yeah, it's vinyl. It's vinyl on there. Uh, fantastic uh, looking car down the side. Let's jump up to our front windshield clarity, which is fantastic. Look at your chrome around your front windshield. Really nice. Uh, glass clarity is fantastic on the car. It's convertible. We obviously have the top down, but uh, no rips or tears in the interior. Glass clarity on the vent window is real nice. Uh, driver door. Notice two things. Number one, notice how... Uh, Nicely, the driver door fits to the front fender and to the rear quarter. Secondly, um, notice there's no paint issues down low whatsoever. The paint on this car, eight and a half, maybe nine out of ten. It's really nice. Now, let me back down that nine, eight and a half. I mean, it's it's really nice. You know, everybody's a little different on paint. Um, I see a lot of paint jobs. You know, and this is a very nice paint job. Do I know when the car was painted? No, I do not. But uh, it's, it's awesome. Door panel, driver's side. A uh, little tiny bit of just slight peel there on the armrest, right where you grab onto it, but no rips or tears. Uh, black carpeting on the bottom of the door panel is nice. GS400 badge on the center of the door panel. Chrome, real nice on the door panel. Uh, that wood grain steering wheel on the uh, car. Four speed center console. Uh, a couple gauges in the console, um, just a real nice car. Let's pull the uh, floor mat out, carpet condition really nice in the car. The uh, does not have any kind of uh, discoloration, rips, tears, anything like that going on. Uh, front seat belts, uh, Fisher, Fisher body front seat belts. I uh, do have some speakers there in the rear. We'll find out if those work on the test drive. Vinyl in the rear seat there, real, real nice. Rear quarter. Look at how nicely the door closes to the rear quarter. Body lines on the car are really nice. Uh, we'll take a look at the tire condition up in the air. They're newer tires. Uh, rear quarter of the car. It's a long car. It's like Basically the equivalent body style of a 67 Chevelle, you know, but uh, real nice long vehicle. Uh, the uh, rear quarters, uh, 
real, real, real straight. It's a super straight car. So with big quarters comes large deck lid and the uh, paint on the deck lid, also uniform color and clear. Uh, no clear coat fade, no blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything funky like that going on. Uh, rear of the car, the bumper chrome, just as nice as the front. There is two little spots right here. I don't know if you can see them. It's just kind of dull, I guess. It looks like almost something was either spilled on there or used on there that wasn't supposed to be. Dulled out the chrome a little bit. But other than that, there's no rust, no pitting, um, no patina. It's all uh, real nice. Let's take a look in the trunk. Trunk mat. Look at this trunk pan, how nice this trunk pan is. It's really exceptional. Uh, parade boot rolled up in the corner. Uh, owner's manual. Uh, this is like an old service manual for the car. So that'll all come with the vehicle. There's no restoration history, when the paint was done, when the motor was possibly rebuilt, anything like that. If we had it, I'd let you know that we do, but we don't. Passenger side of the car, real nice and straight, just like the drivers. Um, the rear quarter here, there's no paint issues down low, blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that. This these red line tires with that red body line striped on the side and this triple black car, it's just a, what a freaking car. See how nicely the door fits here to the rear quarter? How nice your door gaps are? Open up the passenger side of the car. Uh, door panel, same as the driver's, real nice. Carpet condition, good. Chrome, good. Panel itself is good. Uh, floor mats, carpeting, passenger side seat. Look at the layout in the back of the seat, the seat back there, just cool. Cool stuff. Both uh, doors open and close without issue. Uh, all the glass is real good on the car too. You'll see that in the, you know, all, every time we have a convertible, I do top down presentations, uh, but all your windows will be rolled up in your still photo. So check those out. The glass is good. Back window is uh, plastic. It's not glass and it's, it's nice. It's not yellowed or anything. Uh, also, something to keep in mind, uh, that is a power top, and we will show you on the test drive that working. I haven't found any paint issues uh, on the car. The uh, front fender there is uh, real nice. There is a little, looks like, I don't know, it's not wax. Well, maybe it is wax. Yeah, maybe it is wax. Yeah, I think there's a little wax on there. Got to get that off. Okay, so that's not a paint issue. That's just some compounds in the corner there. Somebody missed. You don't see these very often, do you? 1967 Buick GS400 convertible four-speed car with air. We are going to put it on the lift, check out the undercarriage, and after that we'll do a test drive. Not sure if you can tell, but I'm uh, pretty excited about this car and I think it's a pretty outstanding piece of inventory. You may not agree, and that's why I encourage you to visit us in person. We are in the business of selling 40, 50 year old cars. They have had uh, drivetrain changes, motor changes, uh, color changes. Uh, people put different dashes, different radios, you know, a multitude of things. So I encourage you, before you pull the trigger, before you buy a 40, 50, $60,000 car, come in person, Check it out for yourself. Uh, we'll pull it outside for you and check out the paint condition. Real good out in the natural lighting. We will let you uh, drive the vehicle. You can see how it stops, starts, steers, handles, rides. This freaking car rides amazing. Uh, we'll, let you, we'll put it in the air for you. We'll let you check out the undercarriage, the uh, bottom of the motor, the transmission, the suspension components, your tire condition. This way when the vehicle arrives to you, wherever you're located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We are an internet-based business, and we have been for 30-plus years. So think about that. We have two showrooms. We move a, a, a number of vehicles month after month and year after year. So our longevity in this business should tell you something about the kind of quality and quantity 
uh, of unit that goes out of our showrooms month after month and year after year. But I'm in this business. I buy, sell, look at a lot of cars a year. Um, so I'm very familiar with what to expect. Uh, you know, the, the small little uh, issues and uh, cosmetic flaws and, and things like that. But maybe you're not. Maybe you're expecting a new brand new vehicle when it shows up and it's just, that's not it. You could pay $150,000. I don't care what you're paying. It's still an old car and uh, you're still going to have issues from time to time and there's still going to be things that don't quite meet your expectation. That's why I encourage you guys to check it out for yourself. Let's put our 67 Buick up in the air and check out the undercarriage. Underneath our 1967 Buick GS convertible, drum brakes up front, uh, tubular upper and lower control arms. You can get a good view of the front of the pan, front seal. Everything looks nice and dry at this time. You can also see the driver's side of the pan. However, the passenger side is covered up with the starter. Uh, dual exhaust manifolds, dual pipes, dual mufflers will show you the exhaust system throughout the presentation. Uh, the cross member holding up the transmission looks to be in good shape. Uh, there was a partial pan done on this car on the driver's side right here. You can see it looks newer. Uh, it was very nicely done. Um, no issues, but uh, there is a partial section there. Uh, the rest of the pans look good. Driver and passenger look to be in fantastic condition. No rust holes or rod holes. Flowmaster mufflers. Frame rails on the car look good. Driver and passenger from the front all the way to the rear of the car. Check out the uh, rear of the vehicle. Uh, the pipes here going up over the rear end look to be in good shape. 10 volt rear. Gas tank, good. Uh, the red line tires are from 2022. They have plenty of tread, BFGs. Like I said, I'm excited about this car. This is a car you don't see many of. A very desirable piece, black, 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 black exterior, black interior, black convertible top. We're gonna go drive it now, which is the fun part. Before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. First of all, if you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these cars. 10% down of the purchase price. So if it's 50,000 bucks, you're talking about five grand out of pocket. You could do more if you'd like to. However, a minimum down payment of 10% is required. And if your credit score is a little lower or your debt to income is a little higher, they might require that you put 15 to 20% down. But that's between you and the lender. We have zero control over that. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. This process is recorded and you do get a copy of it on the USB thumb drive on the keychain when the car arrives. Along with this video you're watching right now and all the photos we took of the vehicle in the showroom. Uh, once it's through inspection, the guys give it the green light. It's good to go through service. Uh, we dispatch a carrier for pickup if we are the ones handling the shipping. Typically we can have a carrier here within a 48 hour time frame. However, if you are in a more difficult destination, please allow us four, five, six business days, but we will get your vehicle as safely and as quickly as we possibly can. Um, if you are handling your own shipping, whether you're coming to get the car or you are uh, sending your own carrier, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can send for it or come get it. Let's set our 67, uh, 67 almost the 67 Chevelle, because I'm so used to having Chevelles, but never Buicks, uh, rare breed here. Uh, let's set our 67 GS down on the ground, take it on a test drive. Since we're in our convertible, first thing we're going to do is drop the top. Power. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, we have a horn relay on order. The horn does not work, but it will work tomorrow. Uh, horn relay will be in in the morning. I wasn't going to delay a photo shoot for that. Wipers. Driver's side turn, passenger side turn, 
68,192 is the miles on the odometer. I don't know the true mileage. Uh, title reads exempt. Fuel gauge does function. Clock does not. And when you get the car, I guarantee you the clock won't be working because we don't fix clocks. Temp gauge, oil pressure. Those both work. AC. Okay, let's turn it to cold. And there it is, it's cold. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't need it today. It is hot here, but we're gonna do a convertible top-down presentation, so, and it's not too terribly hot, so. Uh, radio. Rock station, 95.7 The Hog Kiss, back to Destroyer. It works. Oh, I love this car. Um, dash pad, good shape. Console, carpeting, steering wheel, everything in this car is real nice. Uh, your bezel clarity out of your dash, real nice. Temp's good. Let's drive it. This thing drives incredible. Speedo, accurate, working, right on the money. What a smooth ride. Nice tight steering in the car. Car tracks nice, no engine tranny vibrations. Car shifts fantastic. I love I love this car. This is a fine machine right here. Our temp's good. I'll show you the brakes here momentarily. We'll take it around the right hand turn, bang it through all four gears. This is a pleasure to drive. Just a real nice smooth ride in the car. No engine vibration, tranny vibration whatsoever. Look, that shifter's not even moving. That's fantastic. What a car. I sell a lot of cars. I buy a lot of cars. And let me tell you something. There's a handful of them every year that stick in by brakes. Look at these brakes. There's a handful of them every year that stick in your head. This is one of those cars. This is a fantastic car. There's about 65, no problem at all. Oh, this trailer. Well, I was going to, I mean, look at this car handling it, 45 miles per hour. Look at this. I'm not doing that to show you that I can drive a car with no hands. I'm doing it to show you how tight the front end of this car is. You know, your tires, all your suspension components. Going down the road at 50 miles an hour in a 50 plus year old car and it can hold the road like that, that's fantastic car has a real nice smooth ride on those newer tires, uh, real fine paint, like I mentioned earlier, triple black, just a fantastic piece of inventory here at Hankster's Daytona. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. <laughs> Hankster's.com is our website, it's where you can find all the photos of this car today along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our Buick GS400 includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Internal components. It does not cover oil pan gasket leaks, tranny pan gasket leaks. If the AC stops blowing cold, if the speedometer stops working, it doesn't handle or uh, cover any of those. It does cover the major mechanical breakdowns of your powertrain, the internal components of the motor, transmission, and rear end. Is the price of the car negotiable? Within reason, our prices are negotiable. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. 
The warranty is a convenience or I guess a uh, security at full retail price only. So you can blow right by that question. Shipping, time is money. And it takes time to ship cars. We have about 30 of them a month coming in and going out. So that's 60. Uh, so we have, we have a uh, person dedicated to vest the driver, make sure they're licensed, bonded, insured, uh, <clears throat> arrange the pickup at our showroom, arrange the delivery to you, pay the driver. At a negotiated cost, you will handle that legwork on your own. Maybe you have a carrier you've used in the past that you've had a good experience with, use them. No, we, don't, we do not make any money off the shipping. We just provide it as a convenience. Also, if you have your own trailer, you're welcome to trailer this car home. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can certainly drive this beautiful car home, top down, sun out, maybe AC on if it's warm enough. Look, seriously, it's a fantastic car. And if you don't have a trailer and you're looking for one, HangstersHaulers.com. We carry ATC aluminum trailers. They are fantastic trailers, really high-end units. So check that out as well. Hangsters Hot Rods, Hangsters.com. Check us out.